Well, welcome to this module. Today, we are going to talk about uh, what it looks like with our ideal client profiles. Come on. If you've ever done a project to create your ideal uh, client profile or your customer profile or your avatar, then this is something that we continuously need to do. I would say on an annual basis, if not uh, twice a year, because the market changes, needs change. And we really have to understand our client at the deep roots level. What are uh, the challenges and you know how our company can provide the right services that are going to meet those challenges. So let's really deep dive into this for a moment on an ideal client profile. Now, what is this? This can be an exercise that you, some of your core leadership, um, or maybe you have it as a fun exercise at your strategy meeting with your entire team. But it's understanding like the, the core of um, who our clients are that we are serving. So number one, what products and services do we have to offer? You wanna start there. And then you have to ask the question, who desires or needs they want or they have to have these products or services? So say for instance, it is home staging. Well, we're going to ask ourselves, who needs home staging? It's not just about home staging, but let's break it down to vacant staging. Well, who would an ideal client be for our vacant staging product or service? That may be a builder. They have vacant properties. How about the investor? How about the realtor that has the, that next client? How about an apartment, right? A community there. Um, so we understand, number one, our services and down to each service and then who is the target market. And uh, then we start asking some deep dive questions about that current uh, potential, you know, person that we're going to market to because if we understand who, what we're marketing. Now we can understand what, who we need to market to. So here are some questions that we want you guys to go over and, and really write down the answers to so that you can construct your perfect messaging that's going to penetrate into their heart. Like, oh my gosh, I need to work with this company. They are speaking my language. They understand me. You've probably been marketed by companies that you're like, that's not for me. I would never go there or buy that. It's because they're not your um, ideal, uh, you're not their ideal client and they're not your, your uh, ideal um you know, product or service to purchase. So the messaging has to then connect, but we can't even connect. We will go and we will write emails and we will, you know, um, uh, maybe you are, you know, having a conversation with someone about a conversion of a project, a job, and it's just not connecting. It's because we're not speaking their language. So um, when we think about you know, who needs our product now? That's number one. I want you to think about, let's just do vacant staging. Who needs the product now, right? What problems do they have that your service is going to solve? So writing down, what problems do they have? right? So a builder, my gosh, they have too much inventory. They have a lot of money tied up into those spec properties. Um, they have uh, time constraints on, you know, their uh, notes are due on those. So you've got to really understand your clients at that deep level. Now we've got to say, well, what product problem does that solve? Well, if we can stage that property and they can have an offer within two weeks, Hello, that that just solves a lot of that those lists that we just um, we just went down. So write out the problems that your your core client has, and um, and then what uh, those problems are that your client your services solve, and why they solve them. Right, because that's now going to become um, some of those phrases in an email to a builder, um, or when you talk with a builder on the phone, you're going to say some of those key things. We know some of the challenges with builders is da 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 da. The good news is our service solves it, and here's how. So what problems? And then we want to say, what are their fears? 
You know, what are their hangups, the, the rock in their shoes? What keeps them up at night? What are they afraid of? And um, what and how can we help them succeed, right? How, again, we're going to solve that problem. How can we not only solve it, but help them succeed? So maybe it's builder, let's stage these as soon as they're ready instead of waiting for 30 days to see if it, 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 it receives an offer. Let's go ahead and play offense on this. So we want to help them succeed on the front end, not be a default on the back end uh, and, and, and save the day at the last minute, right? What objections will they have as a client or a potential client? Why do they not do business with us in the first place? Is it because they don't know about us? Is it because they don't know that we offer different pricing models or different packages? Um, you know, we've got to answer what are their objections? Is it cost? Well, can we do a pay at close program? Absolutely, we can. We have resources to do that. So what objections? And now the beauty of this and um, the winning move is to take those objections and deal with them on the front end. You know, we know that most builders uh, object to home staging because they, they think that it is uh, costly. However, you know, we have pay it close programs and we get to defer the cost, right? So you're dealing with that up front until waiting until they never, they don't even speak it or they let you know at the very end what their true objections are. So understanding that, writing them out, and then what are we going to say, you know, to um, combat that objection, even on the front end and play offense with it? What are the failures that they may experience if they don't use your product or service? We want to write those things out. We hope you've enjoyed this featured module. To gain access to the full resource and over 150 modules just like this, click the link below.